Hello, this is Tari. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk about pen names. I've been reading a lot of pros and cons about pen names. And while I can agree with a lot of the pros for having a pen name, my biggest thing is that I would want people to know it was me who wrote something. If I wrote a book and published it, I would want my name on it. I would want everybody to know that it was me. And by changing my name, no one would know who I was. Now, my name is not a simple name. So there is an argument for changing it. Um, even my first name is an issue. My name is Teresa Smay. Teresa has no H in it. Everybody insists on putting an H in my name. I was named after my Italian grandmother and there was no H in Teresa. And I like it much better that way. I think the H really ruins it. But, I mean, maybe I feel different if my head been born and named Teresa with an H. I don't know. But I really don't like Teresa with an H. I like the way mine is. And the Smay, I've had to fight with everybody about the spelling of Smay. I mean, it's S as in Sam, M as in Mary, E-I-G-H. I have been called everything from Smith, Smeege, Smee, Smy, Smythe, Smidge, Smeege. I mean, it really isn't that difficult. It's the same as Slay, except there's an M instead of an L. How difficult is that to pronounce and to say? and to spell, but it is. Now, if you wanna get technical about it, I wasn't born Smay. That's my married name. I was born Teresa Dean. However, when I got divorced, it would cost too much money to change my name back to my maiden name. Secondly, I had been Smay way longer than I've been Dean. So I just left my legal name as Smay. I didn't think about a pen name at the time. It wouldn't have changed it wouldn't have changed the situation. I still didn't have the money to change it. And I still didn't like the idea of changing back to a name that all the people currently in my life and know me as would no longer know who that person was. I mean, the people I grew up with don't know my married name. <laughs> On Facebook, I'm Teresa Dean Smay. That way it covers both areas of my life. And, you know, my friends from school know who it is, and my friends from now know who it is. It is, however, a difficult name. And um, I mean, as I listen to all the all the different pros and cons, I started thinking about the fact that my name was really difficult, and if I were to publish it, it would be difficult to for people to, you know, say my name. They, would, they wouldn't be able to do that. I mean, I, I've lived with this name for ever since 1976. <laughs> I've been a Smay. So, you know, it is something to consider that if I did put that on a book and that was my author name, people wouldn't know who it was or be able to spell it. 
I mean, they know who it was. My family would know who I am. My friends would know who I am, but nobody would be able to spell it or pronounce it. And I could just see that being an incident um, <laughs> waiting to happen. Dean is so much easier. Sounds better too, Teresa Dean. Um, I had no choice with the last name because I married into it. It came with the husband. <laughs> and like I said, you know, when it came time to divorce, couldn't afford to, to change it back and didn't see the reason to change it back. Changing your name is not easy. I've watched so many people getting, trying to change their name nowadays, you know. Back when I was first married, changing it wasn't that difficult, but they put so much, you know, I don't know, security measures in trying to prevent things happening that changing your name is really difficult. You know, which document do you change first because you need proof of this and you need proof of that. And You know, I dread the thought if I were ever to get married again and having to change my name again. I mean, I would because I believe in taking my husband's name. At least I think I would. I don't think I'd be insistent on keeping this name, especially since it's not my real name. It's another married name. You know, why would I want to keep that name if I got married again? It's not, it would be one thing to go back to my maiden name, but to, to stick with the, you know, another married name isn't a good idea. So I don't know. At first I was dead set against a pen name and like everything is, including Facebook, is in Teresa Smay. And I don't know how easy it would be to change, and I would have to check and see if other people were using Teresa Dean. Anyhow, before I decided to change to that name, to use it as a pen name. And, you know, my videos are all set up under Teresa's May. I'm not sure how a name change would work. Um, so, the more I think about it, the more I think that I wouldn't want to use Teresa's May, that I would want to use Teresa Dean. In the blogging world, I'm known as Tessa. Now my family knows me as Terry and when I started my blog and I could call myself anything I wanted, I happened to like the name Tessa. So I was using Tessa and everybody on there knows me as Tessa. And you know, I don't think anything of it. I mean, I've had my family say, why is this person calling you Tessa? Because one person was mailing me stuff to the house and my dad's like who is Tessa Smay <laughs> and I'm like well it, it's me it's the name I use on my blogs so she, that's how she addressed it she didn't know I had another name she thought that was my name and it was just another nickname that I had picked up it is a variation of Teresa and um my parents used to call me Tessie when I was younger. Of course, they used to call me Messy Tessie Bessie, but <laughs> they still called me Tessie. And I don't like Tessie. I like Tessa. I think Tessa's pretty. I mean, maybe I could go with, you know, a variation of that instead of Teresa. I don't know. The longer I think about it, the more I begin to wonder about my choices. Do I really want to stay with Teresa Smay? I like the fact that it's my name and people would know it was me. 
but it's simply not an easy name to deal with. And I deal with this constantly, no matter who I'm talking to. Nobody, nobody can spell either name right. So, it's something to think about. Uh, not ready to publish now, anyhow. <laughs> it's not that big of a rush to make a decision. So, if you like my video, press like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I try to publish at least once or twice a week. And until the next time, be safe.